Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taghi and I'm an associate nutritionist. The aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need that will help you to improve your health, not only in the month of Ramadan, but after that as well. During this program, we'll be going through different um, information um, all about food, diet, nutrition and health and what are the things that you can be doing within your everyday life, especially when you break your fast, that will help you to improve your health and your overall well-being. Today's uh, episode, we'll be going through some frequently asked questions um, that I get asked around the time of the month of Ramadan. Um, as a nutritionist, a lot of people um, come up to me with certain questions about their fasting and generally about the month of Ramadan. So, we'll get going. Today's uh, question, the first one is, should I go shopping when I'm fasting? Um, I think we've all done this. If we go shopping when we're a bit hungry, most of the time we end up eating and buying much more than what we originally started with. So, going shopping when you're fasting might not always be the most beneficial thing. So try and uh, plan your days so that you um, go shopping when, you're, when you've broken your fast. That way you'll most likely make better choices and you'll most likely buy the foods that you want to actually buy that provide your body with more nutrition. If you go, if you go when you're hungry, you're most likely going to buy things that you don't necessarily need. Taking a shopping list with you as well helps. Um, take your shopping list and follow that shopping list. Our second question is, is it going to take me a long time to prepare a futur or suhoor? Um, so I think that's a misconception. A lot of people think that if they cook food, it's going to take long periods of time. So it's just easier to go for a pre-packaged food. But if you, if you plan ahead, it won't necessarily take you a long time. So it could be, you know, planning ahead. So you, um, defrost your food, you prepare your food beforehand, so all you need to do is actually cook the food which shouldn't take you long periods of time. But if you cook your food from scratch, most likely you'll have a much greater influence of your foods and uh, uh, the types of food that you eat. Uh, another question is, I feel dizzy when I fast, does that mean fasting is bad for me? Um, a lot of people experience mild or short-term symptoms as a result of fasting, but that doesn't necessarily mean that fasting is bad for you. Um, a lot of people might feel dizzy, a lot of people might feel a little bit tired at first, but then your body quickly adapts to that, um, so that's absolutely fine. However, if you're concerned, then um, seek uh, medical advice. Uh, is it good for me to, fa to fast outside the month of Ramadan? Well, yes, fasting is great, not just during the month of Ramadan because it's got many different benefits. And we have um, some episodes on the show that go through the, ep uh, the benefits of fasting. But yes, even outside of the month of Ramadan, that's great. Um, and our final question um, for the day is, should I drink coffee or tea um, for suhoor? And um, could I have dessert as part of my fudur? Um, again, it's down to you. You can make those choices uh, based on some of the information that we've given you um, and the rest of the episodes that um, in this program. But coffee during or caffeine during suhoor might keep you up, so you might not be able to sleep. Try to wean yourself off the caffeine even before the month of Ramadan starts. Something like dessert um, as part of um, your meal, that's absolutely fine. Everyone likes to enjoy some dessert, but make sure that is part of a, a balanced meal rather than just relying on those foods. Because that way you'll be get, you'll both be enjoying your food and you'll also be getting nutrients. Thank you for joining us today and um, Ma'asalamah.